Okey-dokey. Here we go. We were talking in the last segment about how wonderful it is that um, technology and everything really affords moms opportunities that we didn't have before, such right. as the baby planning as a job. I mean, seriously, in 2007, it started as an industry and as a job. Mm -hmm. That means before 2006, 2007, it wasn't even really something people did. No, I, no, I think women just tried to figure it out on their own. Yes, but now it's a service and it's an industry. You're basically yes. a concierge for moms, and what a what a wonderful thing. So it might be the right fit for you, and we have some points to consider. Yes, do we have a graphic, Curtis? Whoa, there it is. Bam, nice. All right, <laughs> jeez, startled me. Ask and you shall receive, mother. <laughs> All right, so if you are looking into doing something from home and want to consider becoming a baby planner, research baby plan to decide if it's for you and if it's a good fit for your city. If you live in a rural part of the country. And you have five neighbors? I don't know. You might want to think about something else. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Consider your background. This is a really good point that she brought up because if your background, as she mentioned, you're a nurse and you want to stay home, you don't want to be working in the hospitals or the doctor's offices, that's a huge, wonderful qualification that you can bring to your baby planning career yeah and really look at your background because there's so many different not just nurses but like she said designers there's yes. so many different um event planner so bring your passion into yes. it so whatever it was that you loved to do before in your if that was a career that you enjoyed before but now you want to stay home and you're trying to think of something new to do um, really bring that in because it's the, it's the passion that will make you a successful baby planner or whatever it is that you do. Well, and also, don't you think just being a mom, if you have a six-month-old, you are still very fresh in your brain what you didn't know, and you want to shorten the learning curve for the new moms. Yes. Because Absolutely. as you get older, you kind of forget. <laughs> kind of forgot. Don't ask us anything. Yeah. <laughs> At all. So also, it's really important, and we go back to the graphics, because you want to write a business plan. Creating a business plan to map out realistic startup expenses and beyond. And recognize... Yeah, truly being realistic about it. Yes. As, as she was saying, it, it does take longer than you think. It may cost you a little bit more money than you anticipated. Just as romantic as the idea is of having a baby, as is having a business. Business is your baby, another baby. And it's mm -hmm. very romantic in the beginning of a business to really, you know... You, you, the daydream about it, the vision of it. Oh, this can be so wonderful. I'm going to make and great your, your clients. I'm going to make a lot of money. And, and visions, and I'm going to be... All during nap time. Yes, and I won't <laughs> have any mortgage anymore because I'll, I'll pay that off. <laughs> Right? My husband will be so proud of me. I'll be proud of myself. And it's just so be realistic about yeah, it. It not takes that longer it's, than you think. It's not that it's not wonderful having a business and having a baby. You just have to be realistic about it. And you also, with the business, you have to really love it, really be passionate about it because the mundane things you have to do, the accounting, just the house cleaning kind of stuff. Right. Your passion has to carry you through those tasks. Otherwise, you're going to quit. And just like a business, you can't not do those other things just like you can't stop doing the laundry. Right. You still have to do taxes and corporate filings and Blah. all that kind of stuff. Blah. Blah. Just like laundry. Whoa. Don't like it. But we do it. But we have to do okay, it. Okay, were there any more? Yeah, of course um, there were. Becoming active in social media. Yes, and it's so funny because when I was on the break with Shannon, I asked her if she knew... She's in Philly, and I was just in Philly, and I know mm -hmm. Joey Fortman. She goes, oh, yeah, I know Joey. And Joey Fortman's coming on our show because we're going to be talking. She's a social media person. Yes, so we bring awesome. the best to you, Mom, right here on I Mom's Town. I travel nationwide seeking Picking out up the best. these people, <laughs> and she just brings them back in her suitcase. <laughs> All right, so what else do we have? Find out what you need to be a legit business. That, see, right there. You don't just get to start a business. You have to... You got to file your biz fictitious business name. You have to. There are certain things sure, that you have to but do. But it's it's not that scary. I mean, it's pretty simple because the city wants to promote 
small business. Let's go to your chamber of commerce. Or your small business administration. Exactly. The, uh, you probably have a local SBDC, which is a small business development center. So you probably have an inc a business incubator for small businesses. Also, joining the International Baby Planner Association for support and resources, they're going to help you. Right. Just even go to internationalbabyplanners.com. Yeah. Yes. Go there and just kind of swim around on the site, surf around on the site, to see if it feels like something that would work for you. Because don't just jump right in. Yeah. Really explore it. Talk to some other women. Talk about the, the reality of it. Contact some of those baby planners. Tell them what you're interested maybe in doing. This is just like any other business that you're thinking about mm -hmm. starting. This is not just for baby planners. This is not just advice if you're considering this way of business and life. Really... Whatever it is you want to do, whether it's a direct selling company, whether it's starting your own business, take a look at the people who are already doing it and yes. really figure out if that is what you want. Ask the hard questions. Ask them to be honest. Yeah. How long did it take for it's you to okay. get up and running? What was the, what did you run across that you did not expect? What was your biggest challenge? How much can you charge? What's the, you know, the payment range? If you're asking all these questions instead of just starting it and finding out on your own later. Yeah, Don't not good. avoid that disappointment. So be yeah. sure to go to our website at momstown.com. Sign up for our newsletter so you can stay in the know right up there in the corner. We have all kinds of great 15-minute seminars in the works for you, which you think we think you'll find extremely fun and Help short. short. <laughs> yes, yeah, brief. 15 minutes, a couple of nuggets, and we'll talk to you another time. But we get emails and testimonials from women loving that 15-minute teleconference. So 